Hello guys, welcome to the part 2 of our video on the material management. In this session, we will focus on the advanced topics like the inventory control, the modern inventory models and the material management, requirement planning, MRP. These are the essential strategies that businesses use to efficiently manage their inventory, reduce the cost and optimize the production. Through this method, companies can maintain the right amount of stock without overloading their warehouses or the facing the shortages also. We will also look into how software packages can help in planning the materials. So let's dive right into the details. So now the inventory control. The inventory control means managing the stock of the materials efficiently to ensure the right amount is available when needed. The primary goal is to minimize the cost while preventing the overstock or stockouts. Efficiently inventory control helps to maintain the smooth production processes by ensuring the materials are available at the right time or not. It also reduces the storage cost and prevents the wastage of unused materials. Businesses can plan better for the future needs and avoid the unnecessary purchases. Proper control also supports accurate financial planning and budgeting. This balance between demand and stock ensures the businesses and the operations to stay on track. So the economic order quantity, the EOQ. It is the ideal order quantity that minimizes the total cost of ordering and storing inventory means the ordering cost and the holding cost. The EOQ formula calculates the optimal order size by balancing the order cost and the holding cost. You can see the definitions in the screen also. The what is uh, ordering cost and holding cost. This formula helps businesses to avoid the frequent orders which saves on ordering expenses and also reduce the cost of storing large amount of materials. EOQ is especially useful for the businesses that need to restock frequently. The formula takes into account the demand rate, ordering cost and storage cost. Using EOQ helps keep inventory cost as low as possible while meeting the production needs. Okay. So now you can see in the screen also the EOQ's example. So, okay. So the formulas helps us to determine that the company should place the order. Okay. So by ordering the right amount, the company can reduce both the ordering and the storage cost. This example shows how business can apply the EOQ concept to save the money and ensure that materials are available when needed. Calculating EOQ is simple but extremely effective Okay, for the exam point of view also. So now the ABC analysis, the definitions and the modern methods. ABC analysis is a technique that divides the inventory into three categories like the A, B and C. Category A items are the most valuable but ordered in small quantities. Okay. Category B items are moderately valuable and moderately ordered. Means customer ordered uh, medium level. Okay. The category C items are the least valuable but ordered in the high amount like the, la like the large quantities. This system helps the businesses to focus more managing the A items which contribute the most of cost. Modern methods such as just in time and the economic production quantity EPQ improve the efficiency of the inventory management by ensuring that the business only stock what they need, not extra things. Okay. So the types of the inventory models like the Wilson's inventory model. So Wilson's inventory model helps to determine the best order size that uh, minimize the total inventory cost also. It factors in demand rate, ordering cost and holding cost to find the most cost effective order quantity. This model is simple but useful for businesses that want to manage their stock levels efficiently. By following the Wilson's model, companies can avoid the overstocking materials and reduce the risk of stock out. The model is particularly helpful for products with steady demand, although it uh, does not uh, account for sudden changes in demand. It is a valuable tool for the basic inventory management. Okay. 
So the replenishment model is designed to restock the materials when they reach a certain level, ensuring that the business never runs out of stock. Minimum, uh, minimum uh, materials you can say uh, is always there in the market or in the company also. This method works well for the businesses with predictable uses rates. Okay, the two bin model also we can see in the screen is a popular inventory method where one bin is used until it is empty and then the second bin is used when the first is refilled. It is simple but effective for maintaining a steady flow of materials. Both models are easy to implement and widely used in the industry, industries like the retail and the manufacturing where the continuous supply is critical for the operations also. So now the material requirement planning. The MRP is a system that helps the businesses to plan the materials they need for the production. It ensures that the material, materials are available at the right time to avoid the delays in the production processes. MRP systems use the data like the production schedules, the inventory levels and the lead time to calculate how much material is needed in the current time. This helps in reducing the waste and the saving the cost. MRP is essential for industries like the manufacturing where the accurate material planning can improve the overall efficiency. Companies use also the MRP to forecast the future needs and avoid the shortages in the supply chain management also. Okay, we will discuss about the supply chain in the, our uh, next videos. So now the there are many software tools are available to help the businesses with the material management planning. Some popular options include like you can Google search also, the SAP, the Oracle, the Microsoft Dynamics. This software package automate the MRP processes, making it easier for the businesses to track their inventory, forecast the material need and manage suppliers. By using the MRP software, companies can reduce the human error, improve the efficiency and uh, save time. The software integrate with other systems like the production planning and the inventory control to create a smooth workflow. In today's market, MRP software is a valuable tool for optimizing the production level. So that wraps up our part 2 of our video on the material management. We explored the advanced inventory management technique like the YOQ, the ABC analysis, the different inventory models. We'll also learn about we also learn about the material requirement planning softwares and how it can help the businesses the plan and the plan their material need efficiently. I hope you found this video concept useful for managing the materials and the reducing the cost. So stay tuned um, for more videos where we will continue to explore the topics related to production and the operation management in the industrial management. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.